from the vintage Vietnam War era UEs. Come the newest Air Force fleet of combat utility helicopters, the Sikorsky S-70I Black Hawks. By Philippine military standards, it's top of the line, a machine of strength and speed our choppers have not seen before. Para tayong nag-giant leap eh. So from uh, manual to automatic yung dating natin dito. This multi-role helicopter is capable of lifting 15 people, including four crew, to up to 13,000 feet with a cruising speed of 276 kilometers per hour. The Sikorsky Black Hawks gained global attention in the early 1990s during Operation Desert Storm. They became Hollywood famous when a U.S. Special Forces operation in Somalia was turned into a movie, you guessed it, Black Hawk Down. The Philippines joins a long list of countries utilizing the Black Hawks. Six units are commissioned into service on Thursday, and ten more will be delivered early next year. The government entered into a deal with a Polish company in March 2019 to produce the helicopters. This after scrapping a contract with Canada for raising human rights concerns which drew the ire of President Duterte. Defense Chief Delphine Lorenzana calling the cancellation a blessing in disguise. Not only is the Black Hawk more powerful, carries more payload, has longer range, but we also got them at the price of the Bell 412, which is a cheaper aircraft. The deal is worth a little more than 12 billion pesos. The delivery has yet to be completed, but this early, the Air Force is asking for 16 units more. Lorenzana says there's a high chance government will say yes. Hindi ko masabi ngayon kung bakit ano. But we well actually uh, we, we have some still funds uh, remaining. Air mobility is critical to military operations with the brand new Black Hawks. It boosts Air Force capability for combat, search and rescue, surveillance and disaster response. In Pampanga, David Santos, CNN Philippines. Exactly how does the country stack up against its neighbors in the region to defend itself or maintain national security against acts of aggression or offshore terrorist threats? While the AFP was more than glad to provide a sneak preview, how it would respond with some of its hardware assets in the air and on the sea? PTV correspondent Patrick De Jesus threshes out the details. Aerial and naval assets of the armed forces of the Philippines were showcased today in Morong, Bataan. This is part of the fleet review and wing flyby, in line with the celebration of the AFP's 85th anniversary. Included in the activity is the newest missile frigate of the Philippine Navy, the BRP Jose Rizal. The BRP Davao del Sur was also showcased, together with offshore patrol vessel BRP Ramon Alcaraz, Navy landing craft BRP Batak, and presidential yacht turned hospital ship BRP Ang Pangulo. Three newly acquired Black Hawk helicopters of the Philippine Air Force also showed capabilities. We want to show the Filipino people na yung ating uh, AFP ay tuloy na nag-update. At saka para makita naman nila kung saan pupunta yung kanilang pera na pang modernization. So that's, that's a good purpose. At saka, on din yan, para pang high moral din ng mga AFP natin na mayroon na silang ganong. More military assets including corvettes and patrol vessels are set to arrive. By next year, BRP Antonio Luna, built in South Korea, will also be received by the AFP and 10 more Black Hawk helicopters. But Navy Chief Vice Admiral Giovanni Bacordo said that procurement of submarine and an onshore-based air defense missile system will be the game changers if pushed through. Though you may have just one submarine, but uh, it remains hidden that the only the only sea craft that can uh, detect uh, look or locate a submarine is another submarine. So it, it is that because uh, it is invisible, that is why it is deadly. And then the shore-based uh, missile systems, that is for our credit defense of the archipelago. The AFP now wants interoperability of their military assets. In case intruders want to harm the security of our country, this powerful equipment of the AFP can be a great help anytime. Patrick De Jesus for the Nation.